The four women you see in this mural behind me are a part of a rich history here in Utah. From one of the first black female pioneers to the first black woman in Utah to graduate from college. In fact, there's so much history to explore that one group is taking these history lessons on the road. My name is Liz Lampson and I'm the executive director of the Utah Black History Museum as well as an artist. So George Floyd was murdered and the world blew up and the Black Lives Matter movement started taking off again. And that's how I met Lex Scott, who was at the time the leader of the Black Lives Matter Utah chapter. And she had this concept of taking a school bus and painting it and creating a mobile museum with it. And so she invited me to paint this bus. Growing up, oddly enough, I took a lot of art lessons, but I specifically took cartooning lessons, caricature lessons, and I loved animation. I love bright colors, so I definitely knew it would be really colorful. And with this, I really also wanted to appeal to children. A big audience of ours is school children. Kids especially appreciate vibrancy and art that's accessible. You know, to have a pop-up museum that we can take anywhere. And we have a mission and a goal to go around the entire state and share Utah's black history and national black history with all the people of Utah. So we like to teach people about what's happened in our state. You'll learn a lot there about um, pioneers, explorers. Just take some time to look at our artifacts and display, and I hope you enjoy the museum experience. Thank you. Diversity is growing in Utah, and I can definitely tell even over the last five years, we have more students of color. I want my students to be able to see themselves within the curriculum. There has been a black presence here. Even though it might not be very large, there's always been a present here. I want them to know about the black pioneers. I want them to know about the obstacles that the people who came before us had to face and how they overcame them and how we are now here in a more multicultural um, population. I was reading a poster and it was talking about the LDS church and its participation in slavery. I knew we had slaves here, but I didn't think it was as big as it was. You hear about it everywhere, but you don't really hear about it in Utah. Something interesting that I learned while we were here that kind of inspired me was when they opened up the NAACP organization here in Utah and Ogden. Because when I've been living here, I felt kind of ignored when I try to voice my own opinions on like race issues in like my school or like just in the world. And to know that there is a community looking out for me, it was comforting. I hope that my students will be um, motivated and encouraged by seeing the different artifacts. I feel like this is a way for them to connect back to the community and find their roots here in Utah. I like that they decided to showcase the culture because not a lot of schools are deciding to, you know, give out information about black history. Utah Black History Museum turns one today. It's our birthday and we are celebrating one year on the road with our mobile museum bus. It's so important that we preserve and capture our history for future generations yeah. so they can see from and how our ancestors also helped build this nation and this state. I am Utah State Representative Sandra Hollins and I represent District 23. I came out today because I wanted to see this wonderful collection of um, black history in the state of Utah. And so when I was invited to be here, of course, 
I said, absolutely, I, I want to see this. I've got to see this. <laughs> this section of our exhibit was prepared by our historian, Taryn Mitchell. So we have um, pioneers, explorers, artists, writers, and then Sandra Hollins. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. You are part of our exhibit. Wow. Yes. <laughs> That came as an absolute shock that I was featured there, but I'm, I'm so honored. I was so honored. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about this bill that you helped pass um, mm -hmm. addressing slavery in, in Utah? I was surprised to learn that um, slavery was still in Utah's constitution as it is in the 13th Amendment of the United States. And so when I found out about it, I set out to remove it. So I wrote a resolution, it went on the ballot, um, and the people in Utah voted 80% to remove it from Utah's constitution. The majority of the people agree with it. So. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. Well, let me show you some more of our museum. So you knew Joe McQueen. I knew Joe McQueen. I have listened to him, went to his concerts, and I decided to throw him a 100th birthday party up at the Capitol, and he, oh. had, he met the governor, and we had a lot of people from the community came out oh, and celebrated wow. him. Kind of a fat the fascinating thing about history. Here he is, a poster in, in our exhibit, but yes. he's someone that you knew. Yes, and yes. It's, it's awesome to have people like Joe, having been in our community, really mm -hmm. representing the, the culture from which it came. It's hard to find um, artifacts yeah. that are uniquely representative of Utah's yes, yeah. um, history, but this is part of Utah's yes. specific black history. There was a restaurant called the Coon Chicken Inn, mm -hmm. and it was on Highland Drive in Salt Lake City, just sort of perpetuating this idea of having the black servant yes. cooking for you and then setting it up in the form of a, a restaurant, mm -hmm. you know, with, with what is now a very offensive title and offensive branding. Yes. There's a lot of heavy material when you look at black history, mm -hmm. but we do want to emphasize and highlight the black joy and mm -hmm. the black excellence mm -hmm. and... Um, and look how far we've come. Yeah, yes. You know, I got involved by painting the bus, but I told everyone that I would not paint it if it was just going to sit in a lot. And so I was really determined to do all I could and contribute all I could to actually get it on the road and actually see it come to life. It feels really fulfilling to have been so well received by the people of Utah in the past year. I feel like the work that we're doing is making a difference. Happy birthday, Utah Black History Museum.